What up, YouTube? Clip beats, no script, off the rip. You guys ask, you shall receive. I keep telling you, man. You guys keep subscribing. You guys keep commenting. You keep telling me what you want. I got you. Now, this goes against everything that I do on this channel. In fact, I just got done reacting to uh, Knox Hill's uh, song, Blame Shady. Fire. Go check that out. Um, but right now, we're checking out Crypt. Crypt is that guy, man. Crypt is really cool. Uh, when I did a reaction to his song... Oh, fuck. It was a really heavy song, man. I don't want to give it away, but... I did a reaction to it, and he uh, he showed love, man, so I got nothing but respect for him. But guys, on this channel, I don't watch other reaction channels. I don't, like I said, even with my music that I do, I don't listen to other artists because uh, I'm a firm believer that I can heavily influence what you're doing yourself. But you guys want me to check this out. Everything Wrong With The Game is Black Slim Shady. I kind of already did this, uh, like, right after it released. It was just called My Thoughts on um, the Black Slim Shady, or My Final Thoughts on it. 23 minutes oh fuck i'm in it do me a favor go to crypt's channel throw him a like please go subscribe um i mean i there's so many things wrong with it i can just tell you right now it sucked <laughs> bottom line it was just contradicting and a cry for help end of story that's all i gotta say but yeah i kind of already covered a lot of things but let's see what uh crypt has pointed out too you look you looking fit my guy what's up crypt is staying in shape get it my guy all right we're jumping into this uh i see you're sponsored by manscape Man, Manscaped trying to hit me up too. Fuck Manscaped. Hop into this fascist team, but we're going for a ride. That's what's wrong with the real or the real. Everything wrong with the game is black. Some shady time. Let's go. Oh, did I already say that? Yeah, go go like and go subscribe to Crypt, please. Thank you. Last week the game dropped the Black Slim Shady, which is one of the songs off of his album Dramatic. The Black Slim Trash. Slim Shady is a 10-minute diss track aimed at Eminem. And while there may be some high points and good bars in the song, that's not what this video is about. There's two good bars. Some my good bars. This video will undoubtedly get copyright claimed despite falling in line with the fair use policies that YouTube has. So if you really want to help me out and make this worth my while, make sure that your balls are clean and fresh and shaven by using my code CRYP20. I love what he just did right there. And yeah, I'm pausing so you guys can get the CRYP code. Um, dude, we get copyrighted. It could be, somebody was telling me the other day, like, oh, only do songs by six seconds or something like that. Dude, they copyright you for having a song on for one fucking second, dude. It is a joke at this point. I like I said, I get permission from artists, and I still get copyrighted, and it's a constant war where I got to keep going back to the artist, and they got to go back to YouTube. It's just YouTube trying to monetize our con content for themselves. At Manscaped. And for a limited time, anybody that buys the Platinum Package 4.0 and shows me proof on Instagram, I'm going to give you guys a follow back. It comes with so much stuff, including the body wash, the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, the aluminum-free stick deodorant, my Okay, no offense, Crip. I'm gonna get past this though, my guy. Uh, get your money. Everyone go to Crip 2020 for 20 percent off of uh, Manscaped. I gotta hop into this. I gotta get my ass to work. But I want to hear what he thinks was wrong with the Black Slim Shady. So I want to see if it correlates with what I have. Here is everything wrong with Black Slim Shady. <laughs> this is dope because I don't edit my videos. So like watching other people edit, this is what I mean. Like it's gonna make me want to edit videos, and I can't. I won't do it. I refuse. <laughs> Black Slim Copyrighted already. This is a 10 minute diss track against Eminem who quite literally has not said one single thing about the game. Not one thing. That's what I said. One sin per minute of this diss track immediately. Hey grandma. Yeah, I'm still out making my Uber runs. I just got one more pickup, kinda close to 8 mile. Math time! The song starts off with a phone call from the viewpoint of one Matthew Mitchell, the younger brother of Stan, in which Eminem created an entire legacy behind. Matthew's dead, by the way. He died in 2013 in the song Bad Guy, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, that's something else I pointed out too. Matthew Mitchell, big bro is for you! Oh, hope you can swim good, now say you hate homos again! Stan came out in the year 2000, and we know that Stan was like Eminem in every way imaginable, which is why he was so obsessive with him. With that into account, we can assume that he was about the same age as Eminem, which would make this year his 50th birthday. Being that he and Matthew are brothers, they have the same mother, obviously, meaning that they also have the same grandmother. With that- <laughs> This is all rhyming. <laughs> You're such a G. ...into account, in 1972, the year in which Stan was born, the median age in which a mother had her first child was 26.7 years old, making Stan and Matthew's mother born in the year 1945 and roughly 77 years old. And in 1945, the year in which Matthew and Stan's mother was born, the median age for a woman to have her first child was 22.8 years old. I 
just noticed up to the side it says sins counter. He's at 11 years old, making Stan and Matthew's grandmother born in 1922, making her 100 years old. <laughs> this is kind of trolling at this point because I don't know. What I don't care about the grandmothers. That bitch does not have a phone. That bitch don't even know what Uber is. Hell, that bitch ain't alive. And neither is Matthew. Oh, I just clicked in my fucking head on my asshole because hi, grandma. She'd be 100 years old. Does not have a phone. That bitch don't even know what Uber is. Hell, that bitch ain't alive. And neither is Matthew. This is a conversation between ghosts. Also, Uber strictly prohibits... Conversation between ghosts. ...prohibits you from touching your phone for phone calls while driving. It's three demerit points and a $500 fine. And you can clearly hear that awesome Michigan infrastructure road noise in the background as he's on his way to pick up his last passenger for the night. And since we don't hear his grandmother's voice through the Bluetooth speakers in the car, we know that he's not using the allowed hands-free option. Ghosts are bad Uber drivers. I don't think they know who they fucking with. Ah, the classic, you don't know who you're fucking with trope in a diss track. Also, literally no one has said anything. Eminem, the person that this song is about, has not said a thing. That's what I said. I said if anything, the game should be going after Dre or going after 50. But he can't. And the game already said, you want to know why I'm not going after I'm going after M? It's because 50 can't rap. I need to go higher. Because you know, you're trying to sell records. He is quite literally not fucking with you because he hasn't said a word. Hi, I'm the black slim shady. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Get used to a lot of this generic rhyming that doesn't really mean anything at all. Also, the game rhymes the word sick with sick four different times in the first four opening bars. Sick in the brain, sick is the day that I came, sick of you niggas, sick and tired of niggas. I understand he's rhyming other words with sick as well, but sick four different times is too many six. I'm sick of six. My stick, my dick in your <laughs> the counter just went. -ding -ding. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. I've, that's what I said. This dude is on Instagram fucking posting like thirst traps for like little girls holding his dick in his boxer briefs. I dude, this is something I, I've had a problem with for a long time. Crawling out the driver's side like a centipede. Crawling out the driver's side like a centipede? I of all things that crawl bar. a centipede? There's no other connection to that line at all. It's quite literally just something that crawls, and it's a very lazy line, which is funny because at the end of this song, you're gonna hear about the game telling Eminem not to be lazy when he responds. And he I, I swear it's I already did this, but I'm not, he's doing this way better than me because he's got like sin counters and fucking all that shit. But that's what I said. But the centipede is what's part of the rhyme scheme. Go back. I don't even want to listen to it again, to be honest. What about his dick? Get used to that. Now you call him not the driver's side like a centipede. So in his mind, in, in, in the game's mind, oh, fuck it. But sick four different times is too many six. I'm sick of six. All right. So, enemies. Enemies is where you got centipede. That's where he was trying to rhyme centipede at. Uh, but it just doesn't hit. And he's trying to do this outlandish Slim Shady thing because he thinks that's how Eminem does it. He does it. Eminem will say some outlandish shit, but it'll come around and hit you with a punchline that you're unexpected. That you're unexpecting. Uh, yeah, cross eye, cross hairs on my enemies. Enemies. If you cross the street, you run into me, crash into a light pole. Now you're crawling out the driver's side like a centipede. Enemies and centipede. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. Now you crawling out the driver's side like a centipede. Crawling out the driver's side like a centipede? Of all things that crawl a centipede? There's no other connection to that line at <laughs> The emphasis on centipede? That's how I was pissed off too. At all. It's quite literally just something that crawls, and it's a very lazy line, which is funny because at the end of this song, you're gonna hear about the game telling Eminem not to be lazy when he responds. <laughs> I mean, you could also say Caterpillar, but they're not the same fucking thing. He had the song Caterpillar, but it's not the same thing. Hey, more useless rhyming. Get used to that. G-A, ficky, ficky, M, paint my face, I'm him. Game forgets to add an E when he's spelling, so instead of game, he's now gam. Also, hey, and Eminem cadence. Get used to that. Putting this big black dick in your skims. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. Also, what the fuck is a skim? Every definition that I've looked up, every noun, verb, everything, slang, urban dictionary, everywhere I've looked. There's nothing he showed a pool for when you're skimming the swimming pool. And that I've looked up every noun, verb, everything, slang, urban dictionary, everywhere I've looked, there's nothing that would make sense. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Also, game rhymes last night with last night five different times in this section. Basement yep. last night, wasted last night, ape shit last night, placed it last night, tasted last night. I understand that he's rhyming other words as well, but he's quite literally already done this tactic in this very same song, and we're not even 20% of the way through this 10 minute diss track. Lost my taste and my smell, I got a Marion. The counter going. 
<laughs> That's what's getting me, dude. <laughs> Twitter joke. Also, that counts as a COVID bar, and those are automatic sins nowadays. Yeah, no. It's over. 2020, that was it. That was it. That was under the COVID bar. Same thing with the vision. Using 2020 vision, yeah, that's just over. Fauci went to crazy girls, and then we got a party on. Dr. Fauci is the chief medical advisor to the United States, and he got famous because of COVID. So guess what? Another COVID bar, another COVID sin. So C5 fum, I'm with 40 going dumb, not E40 to other 40. I'm with Canadians at Drake House having a steakhouse. This is a very sloppy transition where there's a line so, thrown yeah. in that completely does not rhyme with anything between two other rhymes that set different rhyme schemes apart. Fum and dumb rhyme with each other. Drake's house and steak out rhyme with each other but not e40 the other 40 means nothing at all here oh he's talking about 40 yeah the other 40 he's talking about drake's producer uh, drake's producer and steak out rhyme with each other but not e40 the other 40 means nothing at all here what's beef beef is when you tell a chef to bring them steaks out yes game that is actual beef but quite literally the exact opposite of the beef that he's yeah. referring to and Hot trying to make beef. a punchline Hot about with beef. the biggie small song and does so very what's unsuccessfully beef? what's beef Hey, more random ass rhymes. Get used to that. And my dick stay hard. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. My dick get little on the internet. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. Chuck? Yeah. The game apparently uses a fake name, Chuck, to order this Uber driver that he just so happens to know was gonna be Matthew. But if you've ever ordered Uber, you know that you don't get to pick your driver. Your driver actually picks the trips itself. And according to the Uber driver's current employee ratings tab, there's at least 68 drivers at any given time in Detroit. And that's just people who decided to review their job status, so it's the absolute bare minimum amount of people working there. Meaning at the absolute best odds, the game would have a 1.4% chance of actually getting Matthew as his Uber driver. <laughs> Bro, this man took some time to research this shit. Did he just keep ordering Ubers all day like Ricky Bobby's dad kept ordering pizzas to get his son as a delivery driver? Hell, that pizza shop only had four delivery drivers, and it still took him four times before he finally got Ricky Bobby. So does that mean that the game ordered 67 other Ubers before he finally got this one? Also, you have to register some form of ID. He is that obsessed as possible. Identification when making an Uber account. They literally did this to prevent what the game is planning to do later on in this song. So this whole Chuck charade is just a load of shit. You don't need that mask. Nobody cares about that shit anymore. Is that a COVID, COVID. reference? You got a charger up there with you? Yeah, for sure. Because the game's phone's nearly dead from ordering 67 Ubers before this one. Hey, y'all, I really fuck with that starter cap. That shit hard as fuck. Because if you didn't already know this is Matthew, the game really wants you to know this is Matthew. Also, holy year 2000 stuck in the past. Crazy story behind it. My brother Stan, rest in peace. They both are dead. Does Matthew forget the seven-minute tirade that he went on in 2013 in the song Bad Guy where he drove off a bridge and killed himself? Is this like the Halloween franchise where we completely forget that certain plot lines exist? Uh, he gave this hat 22 years ago. Damn. I love that they went into detail because Stan actually dropped 22 years ago, but they forget the details that, uh, I don't know, Matthew's dead! Who signed it for you? Eminem. He used to be like this rap god. Bad Guy, the song that Matthew killed himself in, happened before Rap God on the Marshall Mathers LP2 track list. So Matthew, knowing that he died in Bad Guy, would have no idea that the song Rap God even exists. The game is trying to make Matthew have a play on words with Eminem's song Rap God, but even if you ignore the fact that he's talking to a ghost right now, Matthew still feasibly could not be aware of the song. It's because the game's already dead. Simple as that. His career's already dead. <laughs> They're just ghosts talking. Rap God, but even if you ignore the fact that he's talking to a ghost right now, Matthew still feasibly mm. could not be aware of the song. You can argue that Rap God was a single and dropped two weeks before the album, so maybe there was a slight chance that Matthew heard it, but no. The album was already available for pre-order and the track list was available at the time, so all songs were already created. Also, why is he explaining who Eminem is? He's driving on 8 Mile, literally anywhere in the world of all places, that is where everyone will know who Eminem is. But all of this is redundant, because Matthew's dead! Man, me and my brother praised him. That's when I was little. I don't really like any of his new stuff. So why the fuck are you still wearing the hat with the signature? Also, why has he been wearing this hat for 22 years? That signature would definitely be gone with normal wear and tear. Wouldn't the new stuff be considered recovery for Matthew Mitchell from 2010 since he died before Marshall Mathers LP2 was released? Recovery was fucking awesome. Even Machine Gun Kelly liked recovery and he even said this in a diss track to him. The game himself called Recovery a classic. Eminem. I don't know. This whole speaking to Matthew thing is full of non-stop logical fallacies that we're just gonna keep harping on because. Whoa, wait. You know, revisiting how bad this song is just makes me. Crypt is doing an even better job than I did pointing shit out because he just had time to research it and shit. But he's right on all everything so far. 
I know where we're going. Wait, why do you have a good... Yo, shut the hey, man, I'm driving. I'll get you that way. Gonna... The game is kidnapping Matthew at gunpoint, even though there's a paper trail leading back exactly to who the game is and where they're at in their current location. Uber protects their drivers, dog. Shut the fuck up. I love that Matthew refuses to shut up here, even though the game tells him to shut the fuck up with the gun to his head, and All he right. still continues to talk. I said that. It was the worst acting I've ever seen. All I got is my word, my dick, and my Mac-10. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. One thing you can never have is my motherfucking black skin. Another disc claiming that Eminem wants to be black as its main premise of the disc. What's this, the f See, I never got to see uh, Nick Cannon's diss. Everyone kept telling me about worse than Nick Cannon's. I never heard Nick Cannon's disses. If you want me to check them out, I will, but I really don't want to give that any fucking light. Skin. Another disc claiming that Eminem wants to be black as its main premise of the diss. But the crazy thing is, too, he talks about how Eminem wants to be black, but also called him a white Karen before that, and only is acting black because, you know, it wants to be black, but called him a white Karen. So he's contradicting himself throughout the whole track. I brought that up as well. What's this, the 45th one that we've heard so far? So, oh, he goes platinum, and oh, I'm on the map with him. Hey, Eminem and Eminem cadence. cadence, get used to that. He got all the blackest friends. He wants to be African, me. Ah, the you wanna be me trope that we always hear in diss tracks. Also, more Eminem wants to be black disses. If only we haven't already heard this topic being harped on in this is by Nick Cannon, Cannabis, Nick Cannon again, as is K. Rhino, D'Angelo Bailey's lawyer, Cannabis again. He went to K. Rhino! Like being harped on, and this is by Nick Cannon, Cannabis, Nick Cannon again, as is K. Rhino, D'Angelo Bailey's lawyer, Cannabis again, Ja Rule, every- D'Angelo Bailey's lawyer! Harped on, and this is by Nick Cannon, Cannabis, Nick Cannon again, as is K. Rhino, D'Angelo Bailey's lawyer, Cannabis again, Ja Rule, Everlast, Benzino, Nick Cannon a third time, Benzino again, Cannabis a third time, The Source Magazine, ICP Evidence, ICP again, Haystack, and Benzino a third time. Left for dead on the doctor's advocate. Dre never executive produced it. I just imagined it. Isn't this supposed to be about Eminem? Is he still salty that Dre didn't produce the doctor's advocate? There's very obvious reasons why Dr. Dre did not produce that. Why is that even being mentioned? And why has he got a fucking filter on his face? See, this is some weird shit that he does. He puts like filters on his face and does some fucking fruity loop shit. No pun intended on that. But that's what I said. It the, the beef is between the game and Dre. And he has to go with Eminem because he wants to sell records, bottom line. Produce the doctor's advocate. There's very obvious reasons why Dr. Dre did not produce that. Why is that even being mentioned right here? And the album still went uh, number one and sold 360,000 copies first week. So what the fuck is he mad about? If anything, it's 50 Cent's fault that Dr. Dre didn't produce it, not Eminem's. Oh, here goes the magic tricks, candy shops, and the magic stick. Hey, and Eminem cadence, get used to that. Also, the game is swapping back and forth between mockingly trying to rap how he thinks Eminem sounds using Eminem's cadence, and also rapping how the game truly raps. And honestly, the lines are starting to get blurred, so now now I can't even tell what is real and what's being exaggerated. Angelo baby got in shape to whip your ass again. He's bringing up Eminem's middle school bully? What? That dude sued in the early 2000s because he said Eminem lied about being bullied, even though D'Angelo Bailey went on several shows and said that he actually did bully Eminem. He then proceeded to lose the lawsuit and the judge wrapped the verdict back to him. If any time in history, that would have been the time to get back in shape and whip his ass because of how embarrassing it was. Not 20 years later. So pass me the torch, cause the torch you're in my mind with the voice that defied rhymes. Hey, you know the Eminem okay. cadence with useless rhyme schemes. Are you used to it yet? Because it's happened to fuck ton. You depressed, you just mad. You pop an Adderall, a Vicodin, and an Aspen. Or contrary to this statement, Eminem has actually been quite open about being depressed. It's literally the first five words of his song, Beautiful. And he's been sober for 14 years. I'm just so fucking depressed. I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines. Earlier, he said all he had was his dick and his Mac-10, but now he's got five nine millimeters. so what the fuck happened? All I got- <laughs> He's got his dick out with a bunch of guns, apparently. That is my word, my dick and my Mac-10. I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines. Also, he really stretched this five nines thing to make the Royce to five nine punchline that's coming yeah. up. And this just bad writing. This is what I was talking about Horrible. earlier with the lines being blurred. I can't tell if he's trying to rap like an over-exaggerated old school Eminem or rapping like he normally raps now. Mike just forced the white guy to call D12 so he can be the pork that grinds wine. Eminem and D12 haven't been a solid group together since 2006. That's Why is this being mentioned? In the biggest rap in Detroit, that award. It's like he's called, it was clear. I'm getting pissed off again listening to this track, dude. I don't even really care that much anymore, but just hearing how, it, it frustrates me knowing that an artist of Game's Caliber or what he was before was making a song that bad of a diss and people were trying to say it was good. It was horrible. If you know anything about hip hop, it's horrible. But then somebody come back, oh, you're white. What do you know about hip hop? I don't know. I'm just a signed artist. What the fuck do I know? Or does Sean Don? It's quite literally not. Whether you're talking album sales, monthly listeners on Spotify, what have you, none of those no. are true. I love Big Sean, but this is just not factual. So I'm yeah, the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. Big Sean's though. 
oh, I get it now. He did it so he could have a punchline about Big Sean's song Marvin and Chardonnay and yep. the white wine. But that's still a forced punchline based off the lie that Big Sean is the biggest rapper in Detroit. It's very similar to the Royce to 5'9 bar where he just kind of made stuff up out of thin air so he can make a punchline try to work. And I mentioned how Royce before has talked about how he gets a lot of influence from M. They're, they're very similar. They grew up together. I never heard you in a club. I never heard you in a bar. I'm not much of a club goer, but the one time that I did go to a club back in 2013, I went to Club La Vila in Panama City, Florida. I vividly remember the Yin Yang Twins being the main act for that night. And as part of the hype up music, they played 50 Cent's End a Club and Eminem's Crack a Bottle. Coincidentally, a game song was not played that evening. Also Coincidentally, a game song was not played that evening. Dude, I'm in Chicago. I've been, I used to drink a lot. A whole lot. And I'll tell you right now, dude, I can't tell it, that's what I said in my thing, in my breakdown. I said, look, tell me how you could talk to 15 year olds and 10 year olds right now. They know the lyrics to my name is. They know the lyrics to lose yourself. And they're 15 years old. Those songs were made before they were born. You know what I'm saying? So like, and they're played, they've been played in the fucking, dude, how many times did you hear, uh, there's so many fucking songs, dude. 50 Cent's End the Club and Eminem's Crack a Bottle. Coincidentally, a game song was not played that evening. Also, you cannot tell me that Shake That was not played in millions of clubs across the U.S. Yeah. Shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Same goes for Smack That with Akon. Yeah. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that. Also, if this was the criteria for being one of the best rappers ever, we'd have a lot of shit rappers in the GOAT conversation. This is just a bad... Those guys aren't even around anymore. They fucking died out. They fizzled out over the last few years. Have you not noticed that? Last time I see a little pump at a Trump rally. That stands from an argument that people have said for years now. 11 albums and 10 never got play inside of my car. So far, I've counted exactly three copies to a T of Eminem flows. We have the flow from Lose Yourself, which came from Eminem's Curtain Call or 8 Mile soundtrack, depending on which one you want to use. It doesn't really matter. So, oh, he goes platinum and oh, I'm on the map with him. The flow from My Name Is, which came from the Slim Shady LP. Hi. I'm the Black Slim Shady. And some flows and sound effects from the real Slim Shady, yep. which came from the Marshall Mathers LP. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. There's also at least four other times where games rapping in a very familiar Eminem cadence. Cause the torture in my mind with the voice that defy rhymes. Sick in the brain, sick is the day that I came. G A, sick it, sick M, pay my face, I'm him. You call him not the driver's side, like a in it B. And me, I'm finna be on a jet to the Philippines. Spill the beans. I just can't be bothered to dig through all the songs to find the exact ones because this is already a 12 minute video and we just hit the halfway point. The point is, Game is exemplifying at minimum three Eminem album styles in this song alone, rendering the statement that he's only played one in There's more than that. There were so many different little fucking, uh, little doubles and stuff like that. You can pick up from Recovery, Marshall Mathers LP2. The whole Matthew scheme is from the whole Marshall Mathers LP2. Everything. It's, it's from like, I, heard, I picked up on like six or seven different albums. Like he said, we're only 12 minutes in. The Eminem album, Perfect. completely false. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he's listened to every Eminem album. So we're going to give one yeah. sin per lie per album. <laughs> I'd rather listen to Snitch 9 like 69 times than participate in 69s with 69 nuns than listen to you. Then why have you rapped like him for the last five minutes? In the very interview that started all of this, he called Eminem one of the great MCs. I like Eminem. He's one of the fucking good, good. MCs. It's great good. MCs. Great. He rap fella. You know what I'm saying? Ficky, ficky, ficky. Well, he tried to downplay him right there by saying he's a good MC, a, a great MC. He corrected himself in his own interview. He's also on record as having Eminem his number four rapper alive right now. What happened to all that? You're a Karen. Call the cops. Tell him it's a black man on your block. Jesus Christ. This was the second and stupidest line of the whole thing. Ah, MC's chase me around Epstein Island. Game pretends that dead people aren't dead again. Also, this weird noise that the game makes is imitating Eminem's noise from his song Just does lose it. Ah, I mentioned that too. So the line about Epstein, if he's about to explain it, I don't know. I'll explain it in a second. Just lose it, which was on Encore, making this the fourth confirmed Eminem album that the game is imitating on this very song, despite saying that he's only ever listened to one Eminem album. I'm, I'm okay, and Epstein's Island Bar is because Eminem's name was on the same, like, company, the jet that they were using. But listen, they all have some of the same pilots. Just because they were on, like, the same jet doesn't mean they were on the same fucking flight. So th th that was a big reach by the internet a few years back. I remember that saying that Eminem was on Epstein's Island. Come on, dude. Got three daughters. You fucking joking me. That the game is imitating on this very song, despite saying that he's only ever listened to one Eminem album. I'm, I'm thinking. 
nothing rhymes with orange. Here, the game is making fun of Eminem trying to rhyme with orange that he did on his song Tone Deaf, which came from his recent project, Music Born. To Be Murdered By, Side B, making this the fifth confirmed album that the game is imitating on this very song, despite saying he's only ever listened to one Eminem album. So 50 Ficky, Slim Shady, please stand up. Hey, another Eminem cadence, get used to that. Shoot the fade with me, I love to put these hands up. The game literally said in this interview talking about the entire beef that he's not actually trying to fight, he just wants to rap with someone. When I said what I said about M, it was to challenge him, to challenge hip hop, to ignite a rap riot, not a street fight or not a let's pull out the straps. This Slim Haley That was the same interview why he said why he was dissing Eminem, I believe. With me and she's unharmed for now. Hey, Haley mentioning does. Haley on a diss track against Eminem. Nobody's ever done that. Ah. I'm cold as nah. baby Cola, the Spanish flu and Corona. Two COVID bars in one line. You can't make this shit up. Also, the game's the four millionth rapper that said he's cold as a cold. The Zika virus pneumonia is deep inside my persona. Hey, an Eminem cadence. Get used to that. The renegade or the soldier, I really gave it to Hova. I feel. At this point, the game is literally just recycling everything that everybody has ever said and touching on every single buzzword he can think of. Right now, it's renegade. He already went after Haley. Surely he's not gonna go after Kim or his mother Debbie at some point too, right? 23 years still ain't penetrating the culture. I'm not gonna list every accolade because I'd be here forever, but this is false. You are not top five in mine, big. He, you could, it's showing he penetrated the culture by just the influence on the game. But yeah, Eminem's, what he did for hip hop is just, and it's, you sit here for days. I list every accolade because I'd be here forever, but this is false. You are not top five in mine, big or pop eyes. They're dead. That's what I said. How could you know about Biggie and Pac when they're already dead? No shit! Biggie and Tupac are dead, and they died before the Slim Shady LP came out, which is when everybody heard him. That's like saying Elvis or Jimi Hendrix doesn't have Metallica in their top five. No fucking shit! Also, literally just over a year ago, the game tweeted that Eminem was in his top five. You can't make this up. It's still on his Twitter. I don't know how many sins to give this. We're going with a thousand because there's just direct proof. A white line. Eminem is going on 13 years sober. This is the Nick Cannon approach of talking about old drug use. And if how many years did he say? I thought he was 14. Eminem is going on 13 years sober. This 15. is the Nick Cannon approach of talking about old drug use. And if there's somebody that you don't want to copy in an Eminem diss track, it's Nick Cannon. My sugar night, vanilla ice. Hey, the game calling Eminem vanilla ice. Nobody's ever done that before in a diss track against Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> also, Suge Knight used to stalk vanilla ice and would just show up anywhere that he was out of nowhere, including his own hotel room. And in that hotel room, he took him to the balcony Bang and threatened him to throw him off the edge if he didn't sign away some points to Ice Ice Baby. So unless the game somehow comes away with some points for Eminem's Lose Yourself, I think we can call his bluff here. I'm crazy. Hey, an Eminem style, get used to that. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. Hey, uh, you just said that, literally like five seconds ago, just said those exact words. You didn't pissed off Jimmy, Universal and Interscope. Nope, I got Jimmy Slim 50 and Universal and Interscope. Bar. YouTube rappers have been saying this punchline for four years now. Then I'm running in the Interscope. And then MGK used it. They don't stop me, then the Interscope. Crazier than Kim. Hey, the game talking about Kim. Shout out to Screw. If they don't stop me, then they hands go crazier than Kim. Hey, the game talking about Kim on an Eminem diss track. Hey, was that screw, right? Am I tripping? Crazier than Kim. Hey, the game talking about Kim on an Eminem diss track because nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love the little like South Park. Nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. You love your mother? Well, I'm cleaning out your closets for you and your half brother. Hey, the game talking about Eminem's mom on a diss track. And another fucking album. I'd imagine LP2 or Marshall Mathers LP. What the fuck am I talking about? No. That's the Eminem show. Like against Eminem, because nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. And I told you when I was in Detroit, I wanted to go to A Mile. Because when I was little to get some Eminems, I had to walk A Mile. No one cares. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the stupidest line of the whole song. This is so... <laughs> That's what I do. I died when I heard that. A <laughs> uh, hundred cents. Leave his brains all thin when the game's all in, then the chainsaw ring ring. Hey, another Eminem style. Even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem, get used to that. Hello, hello, Page and Dr. Dre. <laughs> Got a lot to say. Who still has a fucking pager? Hey. hey, another Eminem style. Even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem, get used to that. But since Curtis always do, let him write the rhymes for you. The game literally said in this interview that he wants to battle 50 Cent, but that he can't rap and won't rap. So he's battling Eminem because 50 won't rap. So this is completely contradictory to the main goal here. Why am like what was the you order? Know so why? Yeah. Because 50 can't, can't rap. rap. He can't out rap me. So your buddy can't. Your buddy can rap though. And so I gotta go a level up. 
and challenge the better rapper. The chick on the show wasn't picking me and Mariah wasn't picking you. The game does the Eminem 8 Mile tactic and disses himself on the song so Eminem can't respond with the diss, right? Also, the game talks about Mariah on an Eminem diss track because nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. You rap for and it was fucking like a 12 years ago, right? 2009? Years and never had one wave. This is one of the best disses of the whole song. That's what I said, but Ja Rule already. Too bad Ja Rule said this fucking 15 years ago. It was the do rag off. You never go have waves. You never know black pain. This is not mom's spaghetti. What does this even mean? There's so much of this throughout the whole thing. I understand the famous line of Eminem's mom's spaghetti, but this is not mom's spaghetti. That what does that fucking mean? This your dad was 22. The anger in his voice. What does this even mean? When he ate Lil Debbie, he takes the cake. That was probably one of the best bars. I'm not gonna lie. That that bar, but still, it was fucking just forced you to go out to Ram's mom. She was only 15, so how could one not sympathize with her having you as a team? Finally, a legitimate great diss. I will remove one sin for Sir Game. But the game also just lost a sexual assault court case, so he's not really one to speak on this issue. So I'll take that sin back now. Little Marshall Mathis. Mad cause nobody thinks that Little Marshall Mathis. Have I mentioned that Eminem literally has not said a single word about this entire thing? If anything, the game is pissed off and mad because so many people think that Eminem is in their top five and would kill him in a versus battle. Uh, and, and, and I used to think Eminem was better than me. So what you saying right he now? Not, he not. He not. He's not. You hear what's in his voice? That's jealousy. That's envy. Challenge. Hey, hey, challenge it. Game, you don't want to go versus against yes, Eminem. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Yeah. All, this is what is going to get me going, dude. Most of his songs, he has co-writers. He has writers that helped him, man. Uh, yeah, dude. The fuck you mean? So if anything... I pointed this out before. Comment down below how many hits the game has by himself with no features. I'll wait. What's the matter? The game is getting madder and madder that little Marshall Mathers matters. Let's get this shit all together. The picture was ripped, I fixed it, but none with me, you and 50. Let's stitch this shit all together. The game rhymes all together with all, all together. together. They're the bookend rhymes with some inner rhymes in the middle of it, but the bookend rhymes are still the same word. I even kidnapped. I like how they call them bookend rhymes. His brother invaded him here for you. Hey, did I mention that Matthew's dead? But you would just say no. Probably leave us in the blistering cold. Hey, another direct line from an Eminem song, even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem. Get used to that. God made you damn near perfect, he just missed your soul. So you agree that he raps well. You ain't a shell of who you used to be. Hey, another diss that somebody else has already said. Get used to that. And after you, it's me on the Uzi spree like it's two of me. And Matthew's dead now. Matthew was already dead! Also, earlier in the song, he said he only had a Mac 10, and then it turned into a Mac 10 and five 9 millimeters. Now it's a Mac 10, five 9 millimeters, and an Uzi? How many fucking guns is this guy carrying on him? Also, that sound effect was not an Uzi. That sounded more like one of the 9 millimeters he's got. Did you read your beard or get another facelift or do shrooms in your mom's basement? Nick Cannon and MGK have quite literally said all of those things in. Wait, what did they say? Hey, somebody grab him some clippers. His fucking beard is weird. Okay, I remember that. But now you're getting facelifts like Instagram whore. Okay, Instagram whore. I never heard that. And viewed in America as a motherfucking drug addict. Yeah, we already, I mean, he's open about that. Their diss track. How ironic. An addict in the basement. 13 year old drug joke. Cool. All right, in all seriousness, I will take away a sin for this because I love this punchline. I know Eminem has said something similar about being an addict and using the room addict and drug addict and that flip, but this is cool. Okay, I'll give him this one. You never understood e <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he hesitated on giving him that one. Or cadence. I'll take that sin back now, Jesus. The whole song is the game using Eminem cadences, but he says he doesn't understand cadences. The hypocrisy is immaculate. While I'm here, I should really think MGK, UGK, Tech 9, Uzi Spray. Is Game shouting out MGK because he kind of gave him a green light to diss Eminem because he made Rap God? A big part of the Eminem MGK beef happened on a song with Tech 9. If so, that does explain why he waited till just now to diss Eminem, even though he's had since 2006 to do so, since that's how long he and 50 have been beefing. Hi, kids, here's some fun. Hey, another Eminem cadence, even though he said Eminem doesn't understand cadences. Are you fucking used to it yet? Let's all say nigga once. Fun fact, there's more recorded cases of the game being convicted of sexual assault than Eminem using the n-word. Your fans want a rap guy? Well, fuck it. I'ma give him one. Where? Listen, I'm not one to blindly hate. The game is a fucking incredible rapper. Definitely a top 15, top 20 rapper of all time. But this is not the game. I don't know about top 20 rap, but maybe top 20, not top 10. Top 20, possibly, but dude, you gotta remember, a lot of songwriters have worked with him, dude. He, he's been given songs, he's worked with a lot of people. Definitely a top 15, top 20 rapper of all time, but this is not the game. 
I don't know what this is. I came to put Slim in the box, but he already live in one. The game waits to the very last line of the song to actually drop a really cool bar. Pick that pin up, don't be lazy. 80% of this diss was just him using old Eminem cadences. Talk about being lazy. It's also desperate to say, pick that pen up, don't be lazy. I say, come on, let's go, let's battle, do something, make, help me. I, I explained this before, I, before he finally tallies this up. I give him a million tallies, a million sins, dude. Never should have happened. Um, dude, I forgot where I was going with it, but man, I fucking, it's this, this is what game, this is what this shit does to my fucking brain. It melted my fucking brain. Listening to it again, fuck me up. This disc was just him using old Eminem cadences. Talk about being lazy. Get little on the internet. Woke up, I look at the computer, the computer say, Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Thank you to everybody that watched this video and a special shout out to everybody on the screen right now. These are my YouTube channel members that support me directly through YouTube. If you guys want to sign up to be a YouTube channel member, there is also a link in the description with that. It's a YouTube channel member, guys. I'm still year, I'm still learning this shit. <laughs> everyone, everyone forgets I'm only like a year and a half old. What's a YouTube channel member, man? You ever seen uh, Cobra Kai? I'm like Joey, or what's his name? Johnny. I'm like Johnny Lawrence when it comes to the computers, dude. I don't know shit about this shit. You get a cool badge next to your name that everybody can see. You get priority comments. I always reply to you. I always show love. And I give you guys a shout out in every single video that I do. This video took a lot of time, so please drop a like. Share this video if you guys can. And uh, yeah, that's it. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. I mean, yeah, this is... Yeah, he, he covered pretty much everything that I covered and then some. I mean, that's just the game track was just that bad. There was something I was going to mention right there at the end, and it, it was very uh, important, but it's not that important because the game is garbage. It's just trash. I mean, like, like I said, most, most of his hits have been with features. And uh, he's not, I don't even think he's a top 20 rapper at all. He's dissing Eminem for clout, strictly for clout. That's all it is. So, oh, I know what I was going to say now. Dude, Eminem, so when, listen, when you get into a battle with Eminem, Eminem fans, or stands, whatever you want to call them, um, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Eminem, uh, they will go digging through the game's catalog because Eminem is so good at diss tracks that he will... It's not only for the listener, it's to really hurt the artist. So he's going to dig into the, let's just say, he's going to dig into the game's catalog, which is very short. He's going to dig into the game's catalog and bring up references that people might not catch. The only way they're going to catch them is if they go listen to what Eminem has already heard. So they're going to go listening through the game's song. So what does that do? That boosts the game's uh, streams, views, everything on YouTube, the Spotify, Apple Music. And it helps the game. That's why he's doing this. Like I said, at one point, I, I mentioned this on my video already, guys. He, I used to talk to the game, and fucking, he was trying to do features with some of my artists for like a thousand bucks a pop. And I told him to go, basically go fuck himself. I left him on read. I didn't even want to deal with it anymore. He's a diva. It's really, it's really hard to explain, man. Uh, it's a man child, and what he's doing here is very desperate and it's disrespectful. Like I said, I explained in my video about how. You know, if you're really about the culture and you really talk about how much it means to you and how this is yours, like you don't go around dissing people for no reason when they've done so much and given back so much to a culture that you supposedly love and represent. Does that make sense? That's where I just give him a, a fucking. It was a no go. I don't even need to give him sins. There's no sin counter. It's just a fuck off. You know what I'm saying like, uh, but shout out to the Crypt for doing his thing, man. Uh, this is dope. I, what I'm enjoying the, the most is like watching the, uh, the Edison stuff. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't do edits. I don't know how to do edits. All I know how to do is trim at the end of a video and trim the beginning of a video and then put copyrights over my fucking little video thingy on OBS, um, to, uh, block out to, to make sure I don't get copyrighted, which I still get copyrighted. So it doesn't fucking matter. This video will be copyrighted anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. But thanks for watching with me, guys. I appreciate it. And Crypto's spot on with everything. He even pointed out some stuff that I didn't fucking even think about with the how many times he rhymes sick and how he would keep rhyming the same words over and over again. It's just, it gets outdated. It's lazy writing. It's not good. That's what artists hear, especially at M's caliber. M's not even really listening to the punchlines. Like he's hearing it, but he's also paying attention to like what's happening internally, you know, externally. He's listening to everything. Uh, it's just how good he is. He studies music. He, and probably looked at this like, yo, I feel bad for him. 
I guarantee that's what happened. He'll, what Adam will do, probably, he'll probably do a fucking feature with somebody in the future and throw a little shot at him, but it's not going to be anything significant. It'll be like an acknowledgement, like, hey, thanks for dick riding. <laughs> that's what it's going to be. But it's on to the next one. Thanks for watching with me, guys. It's a long-ass fucking video. I got to get going. I love you guys. Crypt, you're the man. Keep doing your fucking thing. Um, yeah, it's on to the next one. Make sure you go like, subscribe to Crypt if you enjoy, enjoy watching with me. Throw me a like, subscribe too. Like I said, I, I did this. It was my, uh, already It was uh, my final thoughts. on I, mean, I did it instantly right after because I was just like, this is horrible. This was so bad. And I was getting so angry at, like, I think I think the game hired trolls or people. I've seen it on social media, on Facebook, on uh, Instagram. Like, the game's going in comment sections. Or he's having people go into comment sections and, like, just bring up Eminem everywhere. And then I had, like, weird accounts go subscribe to my fucking channel that had, like, no followers or nothing with, to do with them. And they would just leave nasty comments all over, like, all my old reactions to Eminem that I did from, like, last year. Like, it's just, it's fucking weird, man. But anyways, I digress. I love you. Take care of yourself. I'll sign to the next one. Guys, if you need me, don't forget, reach out. My Instagram's linked in the description down below. I'm here for you guys 24-7. That's everybody. Uh, if you suffer from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, I already fucking say that, dude. I'm losing my mind. Just reach out to me if you need me. If you have any issues or you just need someone to talk to, I'm here for you guys 24-7. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So, I love you. Take care of yourself. I'll sign to the next one. My phone's been going off. I gotta check what the fuck's going on. Put beats up.